Yes, ladies and gentlemen, yes. Next week we will be broadcasting live on Thursday, on Friday, and Saturday at CPAC Live. We're going to make it a rally there. There's so many of us that will be in attendance from multiple networks working together. Shannon and Mike uh, from the right way uh, at 7 a.m., I will be on the air at 9 a.m. Yes, I, that's a total 360 for me, uh, normally 9 p.m. But 9 a.m. I will be on the air with Dr. Jane Ruby. Lonnie Porn Dexter, Dexter will be broadcasting at 11 at 1 o'clock. I come back on the air and broadcast with my good friend Jeff Dunnitz. And at 3 in the afternoon, 3 in the afternoon, Michael Vasquez will join uh, and begin broadcasting live and in addition to that uh ladies and gentlemen uh melanie collette from money talk for melanie will be broadcasting at 5 p.m uh all live from cpac on thursday and friday on saturday morning it will be moi yours truly going solo the exceptional one uh from nine to one o'clock from one to three it will be michael vass and from three uh to six it'll be stephanie trussell so ladies and gentlemen Without a doubt, we're going to cover CPAC from the moment it opens to the moment it closes, and we want you to be a part of that. We have with us tonight a great and wonderful guest. Author Christopher Schaffer is with us tonight. Uh, he is uh, the International Organization Director for MassResistance.org, uh, and I have a great affinity for what they do because they're successful at what they do. They don't go for the okie doke. Uh, that the Republicans have told us that we need to be nicer and kinder, a nicer and kinder generation. Right? None of that stuff. Y you gotta, you gotta fight this battle. You talked earlier about black folk, uh, and I just, per chance, happen to be a black folk who happens to be conservative, um, but certainly by all rights Christian. What is the problem that you see from your avenue? Uh, dealing with the issues of equality uh, that black people don't get regarding homosexuality and race. See, here's the thing. People keep categorizing LGBT behaviors as something that's innate that people are born with. That's not true. Being born black, that's in your, that's in your genetics, in your skin. And it's not going to cut your lifespan short by 20%. It's not going to create venereal disease or break down society. Being black is beautiful, like being born white or being born Asian. God allowed those different colors to emerge in the world. But sexual deviance is not a civil right. It's not an endemic aspect of a person's character. These are mental disorders. These are deviant behaviors. They are destructive. They are dangerous, and they must be confronted. This is a lie that's been going on for 30-plus years. The LGBT agenda thought, well, what if we're like black people? And for people to oppose our behaviors and agenda, that would make them out to be the biggest, biggest ever. We've got to fight that lie. And the fact is that the whole agenda, they finally have admitted that they can't, they can't carry this lie any further. It's become more evident. Every year, more people come out of being gay, come out of gender dysphoria. Um, there has been a nationwide attack on reparative therapy, helping men and women to break free of LGBT behaviors. Mass resistance has been on the forefront of stopping those bans. We've not only done it in quasi-red states like Arizona, mm -hmm. but we succeeded even in deep blue states like Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And even in my state of California, they wanted to ban it entirely against adults, but we were able to stop that. Uh, and uh, we're, we've been successful in Massachusetts, which is a hyper-majority Democratic state. Three times, four times now we've stopped it, and we're going to stop it again. Um, we're helping teens in Nebraska, uh, Colorado, and Maine um, to make sure this doesn't advance. And in Arizona, it's already died. It hasn't even got a committee hearing. We've also fought back against the expansion of um, the sexual orientation gender identity curriculum that's been invading public schools. We have a tough mama bear named Shonda who helped fight this fight in the Anaheim Elementary School District here in California, too. Yes. Folks, we walk by faith and not by sight. We take the God, God's word and the gospel truth that we are established in righteousness and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And the problem we've seen with so many conservatives and many Christians, they don't understand what it is. 
strongly advocates in Taiwan uh, to stop the gay marriage onslaught over there. And that's a country that's five percent Christian. Yes. So all it take all it took was twelve disciples, the gospel being preached to all the world, and that's happening now. But we have to speak to the truth of these matters. It goes beyond, you know, potential predators going. We have to speak to the total lie. A man cannot become a woman or the other way around. Yeah. And you know, that's, well, not me, but a lot of people in the body of Christ have been promoting the absolute lie that you can just add breast and take away a penis and you're a woman, uh, that, that somehow uh, someone uh, is misapplied in terms, uh, and, and thus uh, we have to change all of our laws, all of our rights uh, to appreciably support their agenda. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, exactly. uh, we are hurting ourselves more by doing that. And if you could speak to that, because you did something, uh, you all did something, uh, Mass Resistance did something with Dr. Randy Short uh, here in Washington, D.C. called Gone Too Far. If you could talk to God about Gone Too Far. Yes, we have pastors from different states all over the country that held a press conference and, and answered very serious questions and gave a very clear confrontational point about how this destructive anti-family LGBT agenda must be confronted and overcome at every point. They were unsparing in their criticism of this destructive set of behavior and their refusal to see their rights, their liberties, the rights of all men and women to be undermined and the recognition of God and his goodness to be swept away because of a loud and abusive vocal minority, which has commanded so much political power for too long. Um, in spite of the hatred they face from, from groups like the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a hate group in its own right, in fact, and the gay media, they mm -hmm. have been unsparing and unflinching in their criticism, and they are dedicated to stopping a terrible bill going through policy, and the rest of her God-forsaken political majority in the House must be confronted on that. We must ensure that that bill doesn't even get off. No, but wait a minute. You and I sound so mean. We're just so mean when we're talking like this. Why can't we just be softer and sweeter? Why can't we just gently caress the left and tell them that they're going up the wrong road and, 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 and they, they, they can't change all of society in just a moment's notice? Uh, why can't why can't we tell them that? Why doesn't that work? People need to understand that the LGBT left hates us. Thank they you. They know what they believe is wrong. They know what they believe is wrong. The sense of everyone else. Um, being nice does not work because their goals are antithetical to the rights and realities that belong to everyone. There's no making nice. There is no compromise. That's been the problem. You know, the, 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 the gay agenda said, well, we just want to decriminalize homosexuality. Yeah. Then they said they wanted to have civil unions recognized. Then mm -hmm. they wanted gay marriage. Then they wanted parental rights. Then they wanted and a class action lawsuit in Canada for passing gospel tracts in a gay pride parade. It was two years ago. This is political prosecution at its worst. The kind of abuse that's happening to Bill that is happening to ordinary men and women who refuse to play into this lie that a man can pretend to be a woman. It's happening in the so-called Western world. This is not happening in some third world backwater. It's happening now. It's happening in Europe and in North America. And it can happen in others if we don't say no. There is no accommodating evil. You don't go halfway with this stuff. You have to say no completely. And we need to start taking back the territory that they have taken away from us. Author Christopher Shopper with us tonight. He is the International Organization Director at MassResistance.org. They have as far away as Taiwan, South uh, Africa, Europe, here in the States, of course in Canada, uh, virtually around the world, their, their efforts there. And what I need for you all to do is go to MassResistance.org, MassResistance.org. If I haven't put it in the chat room, I'll make certain that I do put that in the chat room for you all. Uh, to go to and register so that you can get their newsletter so that you can be up because we've been told this is what we've been told ladies and gentlemen is that we can't win uh, that we can't be victorious and that's a bold-faced lie I want to play a quick clip here 
Um, and, and then I want to get your thoughts in terms of the Jesse Smollett's matter. Uh, you won't be here to clip. Jesse Smollett is upset and pissed because people don't believe him. I'm pissed off. Appearing with Robin Roberts for Thursday's Good Morning America, Empire star Jesse Smollett striking back at those questioning his account of being attacked near his Chicago apartment last month. Is it the, the attackers? It's the is attackers, it? but it's also the attacks. It's like, you know, at first it was a thing of like, listen, if I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Then it became a thing of like, oh, how can you doubt that? Like, how do you, how do you not believe that? It's the truth. Smollett told police two men assaulted him, put a rope around his neck, poured liquid on him, and yelled racial and homophobic slurs. Police say they have poured through hundreds of hours of surveillance footage, but have found no evidence of an assault and no independent corroborating information supporting the actor's allegations. This week, Chicago police say Smollett turned over a heavily redacted photo of his cell phone call log. He told authorities he was on the phone with his manager when he was approached. Police want a more complete digital version of his call logs, they say, to help narrow the timeline. City officials continue to consider Smollett a possible crime victim, but say he will be held accountable if they suspect the actor filed a false report. Ron Mott, NBC News, Chicago. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube. Three weeks ago, Arthur, we were told by the left uh, that we were an evil nation, we were still a racist nation. We were a homophobic nation. Um, and that, too, Donald Trump, and I know you and I are totally against Donald Trump, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, Donald Trump loving MAGA hat wearing white men in the night uh, decided to attack in Chicago now, which was amazing to the story itself. But in Chicago, decided they were going to attack the only gay black man that they could find walking the street at about 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, and now, as of tonight, formal charges are being brought against Jesse Smollett because of this claim, which was a false one, uh, and he's going to be prosecuted at both the federal and the state level in this particular matter, eating up tens of thousands of dollars of good government time in terms of the police officers researching them, but here's the, here's the thing. Jesse said they attacked me because I was black. They attacked me because I was gay. And they attacked me because I was a liberal. I uh, want to get your thoughts on that. Was that planned by him? And what was he trying to start? It was clearly planned by him. Uh, the police and then the general public began to demand to see the text messages. They wanted to see the the, uh, the surveillance cameras that were recording that location. And not only was there no white males or white people with MAG or anything, it was clear that nothing happened. And then there was more evidence that there was a letter written about what happened, and it was Jesse Small who had written this, piece, this letter to play up this victimization, which never happened. Um, this, this just shows the sheer desperation at any length possible to take down Donald Trump conservatives, Christians, and the Judeo-Christian Western world ethic. It sounds like a global agenda, but this is just one example of many false hate crimes which have been reported. The left does not believe in right and wrong, truth and error, but just seeking power at all costs and using whatever um, means to do what. Uh, and, I, I, you know, and sometimes I feel like conservatives, they mean well in trying to understand the left. It's very simple. There you go. It's a, it's the same thing. Author, same thing I said last night. You have to align yourself one way or the other, and only one party is into stealing, killing, and destroying. Um, got to ask you right here as we're coming to the close of this, and this won't be the last time you're on the Exceptional Conservative Show. Got to bring you back more often. Uh, the simple fact is, mass resistance is winning. How come we're not hearing about it, and how can people be a part of mass resistance? Okay. Part of the reason is people in groups don't want to be associated with us. They're so afraid of the smear, the hate card, 
they see us as too renegade or um, confrontational, yet we get results they don't. The bigger reason why, our, our support, our donations come from ordinary men and women who want to make male and female great again, make marriage great again, make family great again. And we have been successful as we have more victories that we can report to the world. If you want to be a part of the pro family fight that wins, not just put up the old columns, try and lose as gracefully, go to www.massresistance.org, sign up for our email, send the signal to us that you want to help get involved. We have two links to do that. Uh, we have chapters growing all over the country. We have people in Colorado now that we're fighting against their attempt to ban reparative therapy there. Um, we're starting to see other successes even in the other blue states besides California. You can also call our main office at 781-890-6001. I'll say it again, 781-890-6001. We're open 9 to 5 and even after if necessary on Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Give us a call. Tell us you want to get involved, and we will equip and help organize you to fight the pro-family fight. And when, I want to bring you back. Uh, if you're not if you're not going to be a CPAC, I want to bring you back in a few weeks because I, I want to talk with you about the whole idea of what real organization. actually invited mass resistance to have a table. Then they canceled it and kicked us out. You need to know about this. Wow. The log cabin, so-called Republican, so really the LGBT, have taken over in the CPAC. Thank you. It has become less conservative and more so-called libertarian. So I ask for your help. I would like you to confront the leadership, I think Schweiker, or I can't remember the gentleman's name, if he's still in charge of it. Slap. I ask them why they have a pro problem, why people are fighting for family. You cannot have conservatism without mom and the dad. There you, you go. I... Male and female don't mean anything. And um, see the answers you get. By the way, they have shut down pro-free speech panels, like with Pamela Geller. She ended up canceling because they wouldn't allow Jim Hoff to speak there. And I remember Mona Charon, who made all these malicious lies about Judge Roy Moore. Yes. was roundly and righteously booed and shut down. Honestly, we are seeing this left-leaning tinge taking over these agendas. And i got to tell you something. I am fed up. I am fed up so-called conservatives wanting to placate millennials by thinking we've got to go libertarian on abortion, on marriage, on family. I'm sorry. The kids need to grow up. The adults don't need to grow down. That's there you go. Oh, my God. I wish you would come in so I could interview you while we're at CPAC. Oh, my God. That's the way. That's okay. the way. We got... Go. We got to be hardcore. Listen, I'm, you may shut me down from yeah. speaking, but you can't shut me down on Media Row. Come right on by, and I want to talk with you. See, if, if you are going, I, I want to talk with you about getting interviewed. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, author Christopher Shopper with us tonight, the International Organization Director, MassResistance.org. No, they're not nice. They're not friendly.